So your boss has asked you to create a triangle in CSS, and you're like, yeah, no worries, easy peasy. And then you go off and you think, actually, how do I create a triangle in CSS? Well, have no fear, I'm going to explain how they work. Now, triangles in CSS are done using borders, which can seem quite unintuitive at first. And I found a good way to explain it is to imagine that you're standing in an art gallery looking at a painting on the wall. And around this painting is this big border. You know, the gold, decorative, ornate, detailed ones? Yeah, those ones. Well, we're going to create one of those in CSS uh, to illustrate how triangles I've created. So I've got this div here and that's what we're going to use to create it. So over in our styles sheet we've got a body uh, style that just makes sure that anything we create is in the middle of the page. It's not actually important just for presentation. So I'm going to target our div spelt correctly always helps. What I'm going to do is create a div that is a hundred pixels by a hundred pixels and I'm going to set a border and I'm going to set it to for now 50 pixels solid tra transparent and I hope it'll become clear soon why. Uh, what I'm going to do is set the border top color to crimson. I'm going to set the border left color to corn flower blue, always a nice color. I'm going to set the border right color to golden rod, always a uh, kind of gross color. Uh, and I'm going to set the border bottom color to blue violet, one of my favorite colors. Awesome. So you can look at this and imagine this is a painting in the middle there and this is the really thick border. What I'm going to do here is set a transition on this uh, element so that any change I make uh, happens over three seconds. It's purely for illustration purposes. Um, what we need to do now is try to turn these into triangles. Now you can see each of these borders is kind of a, a trapezoid, a trapezoid, whatever it's called. And if you could imagine if this painting didn't have a width or a height that these trapezoids or whatever they're called would come together and meet and those two angles uh, would come and touch and create a triangle. So to demonstrate this, if I set the width to zero and I set the height to zero and save it, you can see it shrink. And now we have four triangles created with borders. I'm just going to increase the border size here so it's a bit easier to see. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this transition, as cool as that is, and I'm going to remove the rest of the borders for now, and we're just going to look at the bottom one. And if you look at that, I mean, you have a triangle right there. That's, that's it. That's as easy as it is. You don't actually need the width or height. Uh, they are explicitly zero, so you can get rid of that. And this is really all you do need. Uh, the reason I do this border 100, 100 pixel solid transparent is because this sets each of the individual borders to 100 pixels, and then we just color the one or ones we need. So if we wanted to create a more right angle triangle, we can change the, the right border and uh, that lines up with the bottom border and we get more of a right angle triangle. We can change it to left and we can go over there. I mean you can change this to top and this one to left and you can have that border or you can have right and you can have triangles for days. So there you have it. That's triangles created with borders. You can go away and impress your boss. Hope you've enjoyed.